Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Casey. Good evening, Commissioner Maury, Commissioner Johnson, Zadowski, Ms. Lewis, Ms. Hutchinson, Attorney McIntyre back there, <laughs> and Ms. Outlaw. It's a pleasure being here, five minutes or five hours. Thank you for anything. Thank you. And in addition to, uh, I might add, that in addition to fighting for the truth in climate change, which has been a tough battle for six years now, surely being a county commissioner is tougher. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Let me uh, quickly ask that if you have received a copy of the presentation, uh, it should be in front of you. If not, it was provided up here. Okay, here's a copy of the book and the presentation. Given that I only have five minutes, I will, in fact, be very brief, but I'll be pointed in my remarks. Uh, I have prepared an in-depth presentation to go through the last 25 years of climate change and to summarize that in a short presentation. But in five minutes, let me get to the, the, the key points with you. And if you'll skip through the presentation to the slide title, what is the current glo global climate status? It's about the fifth or sixth chart in, the current climate status. This chart alone sums up much of what I would be saying anyway. Item number one, commissioners, ladies and gentlemen in the audience, it's vital that everyone understand global warming has ended. There is no global warming. We have been misled for many years. We're still being misled. It is intentional. It is a global socialism that has crept in through our country's leadership. It's called Sustainable Development America. It's called Agenda 21. It's called many things. But it has crept into our planning process, our management of our day-to-day -day lives. And it uses the tool of man-made climate change as the lever to implement much of what we're hearing about 750. Item number two, there's been no effective growth whatsoever in the planet's atmospheric temperatures for 16 years. That's the entire period of time when we've heard the most about global warming. We've seen Al Gore get the Nobel Prize for Inconvenient Truth, and the UN publish multiple climate reports. And yet, this entire time, there's been no effective global warming. But it's much more than that. And what our company specializes in is the fact that we have entered a new cold climate era that will be disastrous for the globe, as it always is. It's based on a 206-year cycle of the sun. Every time this cycle comes about, the earth gets very cold. The sun cuts back on the warmth by which it gives us warmth and leaves us with cold weather for decades. Crops die, people starve, wars are started. It's a devastating time. And yet this has happened five times in a row for the last 1,200 years. This is now the fifth time. It's happening again. There is nothing we can do about the shutdown of the energy reduction in the sun, what we call a solar hibernation. We must confront it, we must accept it, and we must adapt. But this also drives the fact that mankind has nothing to do, effectively nothing to do with the climate, either on the warming side or the cold side. Our company and the scientists around the world associated with me know that the sun is the primary cause of climate change, not mankind. And we're about to see the wrath of the sun as it makes our planet colder. We need to come to grips with this. Our oceans have been colder for 10 years now the oceans have been dropping in temperature. For seven years, the atmospheric temperature has been dropping. It's only going to accelerate further. Glacial ice, we keep hearing about the Arctic disappearing. As you heard from the 1922 article, it was read. Thank you, sir. Uh, this will go on and on. Natural cycles drive the Arctic, but natural cycles are now taking us into 40 years of dangerous cold weather. Glacial ice will be growing again as it is, for example, in the Himalayas, the largest seat 
of glacial ice on the planet outside of Greenland and Antarctica, and it's growing rapidly. Antarctica has been growing for 30 years. A new dangerous cold climate has begun. There's no question about it. All climate scientists are aware of this. Ladies and gentlemen, if nothing for these facts alone, we must understand that man-made climate change is a myth. Everything we are told about it should be discarded. Every plan that we have drafted, every plan that we are considering that includes man-made global warming must be discarded. I strongly, strongly support the good American citizens in this room and when they say get rid of 750 or related planning documents based on man-made climate change and the greenhouse gas theory, that's exactly what we need to do. Thank you for the five minutes.